to the island of Crete in the Mediterranean. Tom's going to bring you up to the second floor of his house. Get a picture of him uh, right there behind you, Bob, coming up. Portrait again, the portrait of me that Mr. Anderson did. I wanted a portrait with a red background, as was done in the re Italian Renaissance. Very fond of that one. And he did again for the Knights of Columbus magazine cover, a risen Christ holding the palms and, and vibrant, friendly, risen Christ. And we have a guest bedroom in here. four-poster bed with a tester with a net and comfortable, lovely, old-fashioned, correct for the period of the house. I have, again, portrait paintings of done by Ronald Anderson, a woman named Ruth, who was a well-loved nurse here in Connecticut wearing her favorite amethyst cross and a father Agnew who was with the St. Michael's Episcopal Church here in Lichfield. Portrait by Anderson again of a young woman. Kathleen was her name. Fancy dress. Very Irish looking. on the walls, portrait of myself, the first portrait done of me when I came to Lichfield. I must have been about 30, 35 years old then. A portrait of the Reverend Father Michael, who was a priest in Harwington here, ended up in California a young man who was a neighbor, his name was Tim Brown, was a mason, he was an expert in doing stone walls. And we have another portrait of young John Wolfe, a student, very brilliant student, at the time, is now in California, a cruel work bedspread, which I like that kind of thing very much. It shows deer and a little tiger and birds, cardinal bird with a nest, various exotic flowers. The bed itself is a nice old about 1830, Maple. We are still discovering uh, paintings. Come on in and look behind the door. More portraits. 
time to talk a little bit. They're everywhere. These were done for a book I did on my little Yorkshire Terrier. Here she is on the lawn in back of the studio. It was a proper studio with North Light. He only painted from North Light. She was born on St. Patrick's Day in Palm Beach. So we have the allegorical St. Patrick blessing Palm Beach, where the blessed event it was called. This painting was not yet completed, but it showed when we stopped in Washington, D.C., and the dog admired the cherry blossoms. And the one Tim is holding shows Patricia and her mother and father in Palm Beach. And again, when, again from the back garden, there was a cat named Patches, which she loved to chase up on the, on the, into the tree. Altogether, there were probably 20 paintings on the dog's story. I also have a portrait done by Anne Didis Schuler, who was one of his teachers in Baltimore. That's the portrait of Ronald Anderson when he was about 17 or 18 years old. He had already been recognized by the Metropolitan Museum as one of the most talented young painters in the country. Notice on the palette he has the colors in proper order, the way the old masters kept their paints. Never a messy palette. He didn't wear a smock because he said paint belongs on the palette or on the canvas, so he never spilled or had it on himself. You have time to explain the prints to you, Bob. European prints. Dutch, German. And on the bed, wrapped up in plastic now, but is the my kilt that I had, the Stuart Tartan the kilt, the cap, the blanket. There is a Scottish festival every year in Goshen. It used to be here in Lichfield and we would get dressed up in kilts. Great fun. Behind the door here, Bob, we have another discovery of uh, more paintings by Mr. Anderson. This is a portrait of Patricia Corbett from Cincinnati. She was a philanthropist, she and her husband. Uh, most of their money was spent in the field of music, particularly opera. Other portraits that were done for exhibition. Old classical, realistic style of painting. What would uh, Mr. Anderson uh, charge for a sitting like this time? Um, painting that size was usually $5,000. Somebody's going to get a real fine the day of the yeah. auction. Remember this one, Tom? She was an actress at the community playhouse here in Lichfield. I don't remember her name. I only met her once. Striking pose. Okay, Tim. Yeah. Okay. Again, uh, visit timsauctions.com for our June 5th 
on site Litchfield auction featuring the collection of Thomas McBride. That's a wrap. Oh, that's nice.